Greetings! Greetings! Welcome to the fifth episode in development of FPX Game Engine, Frozen Pixel Game Engine. Today I will be talking about updates that I did from the last episode and as I promised I will try to make shorter episodes and because of that they will have a little bit less content than those before them. So let's begin. First thing I would like to talk about are the bounding boxes. There are two types of bounding boxes in the engine. One is used for collision detection and the other for the thrust and cooling. The one for collision is green and the other one is red. Also I made a system that allows me to change the size of bounding box from the code. So for example if I want to ignore these antennas on top of the tank I can do that from the code and it will still be rendered if it gets inside of the frosting. And the thing you are watching here is something called anti-gravitational flying machine. And the reason it's anti-gravitational is because no force is pulling him down. Now we are flying towards my model and the important thing about it is my texture that I made with him in only a few minutes and it looks amazing so all these movements of my ship were done with my own classes of matrixes and quaternions so basically math and after I do all these ca calculations I pass them to Newton it all happens in real time and Newton allows me to have like these awesome barrels that will fall as I push them in real life with my super heavy spaceship anti-gravitational machine spaceship yes if you didn't notice my levels are not so rich with objects and things like that and the reason for it is because I didn't yet make a level editor except from that failure in second episode but I will try to remove that from my memory thing I need for my level editor is picking system it's system that allows you to grab three dimensional objects in 3D space with your mouse that is the next on my to-do list and after I do it I will probably start to work on my level editor until then I will do everything from the code and it will still look crappy except from my terrains they look amazing and these models are okay not bad the thing I love about engine development is that I can play around with it, test out my functions and classes and that is how I made this level, I was just playing around. Let's go on the water. See this effect is done with different color of fog and a full screen bitmap over the screen that is transparent it's the effect that is used in games like World of Warcraft where they don't have shaders and it looks pretty decent I need to say I just love to play around with my engine now the thing I wanted to mention is that I'm working on my engine whenever I have free time on my hand and not always I'm able to show you stuff that I did because sometimes I'm cleaning code or working on internal stuff that can be shown in a video 
I was playing around with the Newton and I, I, I was trying to make a flyable thing and it came to my mind to ignore the gravity force for it so that it can be easier to fly around with it and that came out as a good idea also I decided to make only two ways rotation and that also came out as a good idea since there's no force pulling my ship down and I have time to react to rotate it you can see how bad as it is when he can throw flames underneath the water that is amazing right now this is the same scene with debugging turned on it looks kind of cooler in the upper left corner you can see all the statistics that I needed for this one and the camera position so look at this one I managed to get all of these in one strike yeah it's cool now the camera is pretty basic for this one it's following directly my machine there is not so much to talk about this as I said on the beginning there is not so much content that I can talk about but I can show you stuff that I did and that look nice Try to enjoy this for a few more seconds. That is pretty much all I had to say for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you would like to say something, you can leave it in comments. If you are not my subscriber and you want to subscribe, you can, it's totally free. And that's it. See you soon. Bye.